Alrighty guys, today we're going to do a quick overview on how to bring a part straight through from CAD to CAM to CNC. And once we get there, um, we're going to go over some arc voltage calibration for your THC uh, to make sure that you are at an adequate voltage. Um, and then how to go back and modify that voltage um, and then save that so that the next time you open the software, your software has been calibrated for that thickness of material and you don't have to worry about doing it again. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and pan through these. So right now we're opening CAD and you'll notice we have all of our CAD taskbars up at the top or we have all these um, icons that we can choose from. Um, up at the top of the screen I'm just going to send it over to CAM and click CAM. Um, now we have this. I've already made lead-in entries um, that are about half of the circle size. Um, and now I'm going to go ahead and send it over to CNC. We're in evaluation mode so we're just going to leave that. Uh, it's not as critical right now. so. I just want to go through these things and we don't need uh, to have all the features of the full package to be able to show you this. So you'll notice that we have our G-code screen down here at the bottom. We have all of our details of the material that we're cutting on the left hand side over here. And then directly above that we have our Power Max or Fab Head. So we have our Power Max 85. We have this is torch on torch off so you can physically fire the torch. Um, if you are going to use this make sure that you're at least one inch above the material. Um, or slightly higher than that and then you can fire it don't keep it on for too long because if you let it uh, pilot arc for too long you can start to prematurely wear out that consumable um, next to that we have our torch height control this is our on and off feature this is mainly what we're using when we're calibrating we're going to toggle between having this on and having this off um, now i'm going to go ahead and show you so what we're going to do is we're going to play this code, uh, when I click run G code, it's going to cycle through all of these operations. And while it's cycling through, we're, although we're not going to see this 0.0, .0 volts change on the screen here, uh, because we're not physically connected, on your machine you will see that change. So when you're calibrating, say we're cutting quarter inch material for the first time, uh, we send it through from CAD CAM to CNC. So now we're in our CNC window. Um, we're going to run this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that this icon here, if it's lit up blue, it's on. We want to make sure that that is off. Uh, while we're running these, uh, mainly these circles, and then it's, after it cuts those, it would go and cut that square cut out. Um, while it's cutting, what we're going to do is we're going to see a natural voltage spike here that's going to be far above this 126. The 126, you'll notice it says set point if I hover over it. Um, what that means is that 126 volts is what's going to be carried through from our cut settings for quarter inch material at 85 amps. Um, so what's going to happen is while you play this, you're going to see that this voltage is going to vary and it should be relatively close to 126. Um, if it's not within uh, plus or minus 3 volts of 126, then what I generally recommend is changing that voltage to match what our actual voltage is running at. So first things first, we're going to turn off our torch height control. So if this is on, we're going to turn it off. Once it's off, we're going to go ahead and click play. You'll notice we're cycling through the cut. We're cutting the circles. Now we'll notice up here, we want to look for this and keep our eyes on these zeros because while it's cutting, we want to see what that's at. So if you notice your screen is um, say it calls for 126 or in your case it might be 115, 118. Um, if this was plus or minus 3 volts from plus or uh, from 118, um, for 118, for example, plus 118 would be 121, minus would be 115. So if you don't see this range after you start cutting within plus or minus 3 volts, then what we want to do is we want to go ahead and change this to that voltage that we're seeing down here. But we don't want to change it in this window. We want to go back to our cam window. And then we're going to go ahead up at the top here where it says plasma settings. We click that. You'll notice we have 85 amps shielded. We have 126 down here. We want to modify this. If we were seeing it stabilize at around 131, then we're just going to replace this 126 with 131. And then we're going to check it off. Now we're going to send it back over. Once we send it, 
we're going to notice that we have a new voltage right here and it's displayed 131. So now what you can do is you can jog the machine slightly over to the right position next to this one and you can zero it out again by going to set 0xy. Um, that would put another one of these right next to it, right next to this. Or what we can do is let's go over this. Control C, Control V. So I copied and pasted another one. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and delete this one out of here. Oh, delete that. And now I'm just going to go ahead and send that one over. Now we have it moved over. And now what we can do is we can run it one more time. And what you're going to do now is you're going to take this torch high control and put that on. And now you can play it one more time with the torch high control on. It's going to start cutting. And what you'll notice is now it's going to pull the torch to maintain 131 volts in this live digital readout window. So that's all we do to calibrate the torch high control. Generally, you'd like to do that for um, each material you do for the first time that you do it. Um, if you're cutting something that's a little more foreign, like an AR500 or AR400 plate um, for targets or, or what have you, you definitely want to calibrate the torch high control for those, um, as well as if you're using fine cut consumables. So keep that in mind, guys. This is going to be the most critical part to running your Maverick Series CNC plasma system is seeing what this arc voltage is running at um, and making sure that we have it at the correct setting so that we're maintaining a 60,000 um, cut height, which is what Hypertherm calls for for all of their cutters uh, in the PowerMax series at these thinner gauge materials. Um, and then what we want to do is we want to make sure we're at that cut height and we're calibrated in and we have our torch height control able to be turned on. If we're cutting metal art, we might want to make sure that we have this curve crossing detection selected. Um, other than that, that is going to be the most complicated part of learning the system because that's the only system in the plasma cutting, um, in the, this new plasma cutting machine that you have. Um, that'll be a little bit more complicated to understand because it's operating independent from what you physically select on the screen. Um, and it's calibrating based on what that arc voltage is reading. So it's responding while the machine's cutting without you doing anything. So that wraps up the um, calibration for THC. If you have any questions or if you want a little bit more of an expansion on certain topics that we talked about today, feel free to go on our website and drop us a line. Our website is squickmans.com. Um, or you can also reach out to us on Facebook and send us a direct message. Uh, that'll work as well. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and we look forward to showing you more.